bit of a disaster on our hands. Good morning, everybody. Greetings from beautiful Costa Rica. Actually, greetings from the inside of our van, but the van is in Costa Rica. We are having some major decision paralysis. There are some beautiful parts of Costa Rica. We want to explore them all. Here's the map. Here's where we are. Here's where we think we're going to go. Here's where we also think we're going to go. And then maybe one day we'll also ship over here. Everyone says this peninsula is amazing. There's a lot of places to go. We'd like to see them all. It's very hard to decide, but today, as long as the rain holds up, I think we've got an extreme adventure that we're going to try and undertake. But first things first, well, we already had coffee. Sorry, we didn't share it with you guys. We're gonna make some breakfast and then we're gonna hit the road. you guys enjoyed that little b-roll sequence of breakfast we're trying some new things let us know in the comments if you thought that was cool or if you thought it was lame we're gonna scarf these eggs and then we're gonna hit the road all right guys we made it to Monteverde we're doing something that's a little bit off the beaten path we were gonna do a hike there's some amazing hikes through the cloud forest up here but we figured we're here let's just make it the most epic adventure we can I think we're gonna spend the night up there we're gonna camp we're gonna backpack we're gonna take the dog but right now, the van is a disaster. As you can see, we're trying to figure out what we need to take with All us. All this stuff needs to go into one of those backpacks. We are gonna take one backpack full of stuff and one backpack full of some of our camera gear and Frank gear. Let's do this. Frank, you wanna go on a hike? You wanna go on a hike? Oh, oh, oh. Are you excited? Are you excited to go on a hike, Frank? Are you excited to go into the jungle and be a jungle dog? We don't even really know where we're going. We're just hiking into the middle of the jungle. I'm determined to make a fire in the rainforest, which... It's the rainy season in the rainforest. Exactly. Trent wants to make a fire. And I heard that Bear Grylls came to Costa Rica and he couldn't survive because... I think because it was wet and you couldn't make a fire and without fire you usually die unless you have dry clothes to keep changing into. I'm gonna try and show up Bear Grylls. I'm gonna try and make a fire. In the rainforest in Costa Rica. Can I do it? I don't think so. <laughs> Obviously, I've got a lot of psychological reinforcement over here. <laughs> we're gonna finish these sandwiches and then we'll pick you guys up as soon as we're leaving the van. All right, well, we're packed up and ready to go. Our backpacks weigh a thousand pounds. <laughs> it's three in the afternoon, which is not the best time to start a hike. It's a little overcast, pretty breezy, and I'm feeling a couple sprinkles. Anybody know who the pessimist is in this relationship? <laughs> Allie's not always a pessimist. I'll give her that. She's usually pretty positive, but sometimes she does look at the negative side of things. So today we're keeping our heads up. It is starting to sprinkle. We're still heading into the jungle because it's a rainforest. It rains here like pretty much every day. So we're gonna get after it. raining and I'm soaking wet and I'm carrying a million pounds up this super steep muddy road and I just have to say I'm like I'm loving it that or I'm losing it one of the two the incline just leveled off it's super windy so you guys could probably barely hear us if at all I'm very sorry it's crazy up here Woo! Ah! How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. There's a fella up there. Yeah. He's, He's a, interesting. So you'll see a little sign, the green hermit. He's got Good. a little place and cool. made, He's a, a character. made yes. us a cup of tea He's and it was one of the character. most unique, yeah. wonderful experiences we've had. Nice. Good. You guys have fun. Right. Be safe. Yeah, right down. Thank you. It's always nice to meet people on the trail and I guess we've got a friend up here waiting for us that might make us a cup of tea. Let's go meet the green hermit. Okay. So we made it into the house of the Green Hermit. He actually has a little house up here. He makes his own art. He was very hospitable to let us in right as it started to downpour. 
and I think he's even making us a cup of coffee. Really nice guy, very unexpected. Really cool guy. He tried to get us to stay here because he has some bunk beds and other beds, but we're on a mission. You guys already know this. He runs the television and radio repeaters here. So television stations and the radio stations that come from San Jose, he repeats them here so that people on the other side of the mountain range can have TV and radio. Pretty awesome. Trent. Como Trent. Trent. Como Trent. 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 T a la final. Trent. T a la final. Trent. Como lo hacían Trent y Trenta. Trent. Sí. Trenta. Yeah. Trent. Sí. Perfecto. Some strong coffee. I wasn't gonna sleep tonight anyway. Hola al YouTube. Oh yeah, my brain. Well, thank you so much, Carlos, for the cup of coffee and pointing us in the right direction. And now we're heading down this trail. How do you feel? Wired. Yeah. Ready to go. <laughs> that cup of coffee was giving me a panic attack in there. I literally am so zinged up. He gave us a huge cup of extremely black coffee. It was delicious. It was really, really tasty, but I am just like ready for hike number two. Let's do it. <laughs> It's awesome and really cool, but we just got done hearing about the jaguars that live out here, how it's gonna continue to rain all night. It's gorgeous and I love it, um, but maybe it's a little scary at <laughs> night by ourselves out here. We've got about a half an hour to an hour before the sun goes down and it gets pitch black without a light in sight for miles and miles. So we gotta find a place to pitch this tent. We're looking for a flat spot. Me a call to I don't want to head out how to sleep Swallowed a cannonball in my dream And it's pulling me back underneath my sheets <sighs> All right guys we have a tent, we have sleeping pads, the dog has his own little bed. We are uh, mostly dry and mostly warm, I would say. I'm actually a little hot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just take my shirt off. Uh, way better than I expected it to be at this point. I think the low is like 67 tonight, so I really don't okay. anticipate it getting cold. It's Perfect. just maybe gonna be wet, obviously. I'm a little worried about the jaguars, I must say. <laughs> so I don't the think it was The jaguars aren't our... gonna come in our tent. No, but. We were just talking to Carlos. I don't think we got this on tape. No. We were just talking to Carlos and asking about the area and whether it's safe to camp out here. And everyone we've talked to is like a little bit iffy about whether it's safe to be up here camping. It's great hiking, um, but there are large cats. There are large cats. So yeah. we're in the jungle with jaguars. Not necessarily something that was on my bucket list, but, but I got my machete. We're gonna do it. <laughs> I got my machete. We are okay. I was planning on making a fire, but uh, Oh yeah, it's still since raining. My, since my life doesn't depend on it, I'm not gonna try because it's like extremely water soaked, everything's soaked. We're gonna make a stove fire. We're gonna make some food. We are gonna make a stove fire and we are gonna make some food. Dinner is getting nice and plump. Honestly, this adventure would probably be over for you guys right now because our camera is literally about to die. But luckily, Renegy sent us this Phoenix. It's a portable battery station, literally a lifesaver. You can plug a ton of stuff into it. You can plug any regular outlet appliance into it. And voila, 
So now this journey is not over for you guys. These Phoenixes are super sick. If you guys wanna pick one up, we're gonna put a link in the description. They're super lightweight. They do take a long time to charge, but they last all day. You can do USB-C, USB mini, regular USB, or regular 120 volt outlet. While these batteries are charging, we're gonna wait for this food to cook, and then we're gonna scrumptious lum dum diddly dum 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 <laughs> munch down. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta turn the camera off because it's about to die. Once these batteries are charged, we're gonna pick you guys back up. Spin the. Oh, you had it. Oh yeah, that's clean. That's real nice. Wow, dude, you're making it dirtier. Stop. I've cleaned it off. All right, we ready for the the dinner of champions here? Yeah, let's see how gross this actually. Let's is. open this up and give it a good smell. It could look better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. That's the real test. Mm. Surprisingly delicious. Hint of lime, some spice. Rice is cooked to al dente. I would eat that. Good. Because it's all we've got to eat. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna scarf down on this and then we're gonna hit the sack. We'll see you in the morning. We're in bed. We're about to go to sleep. We're nice and tucked in. I just wanted to turn on the camera and let you guys know that as we are are about to turn off the light. I turn over and look at Trent, and he pulled out a Snickers bar. This guy brought a Snickers bar up and hid it from me the whole time, and I don't even know if he's gonna share it with me. Mm -hmm. No? <laughs> <laughs> what? Cheers, guys. See you in the morning. We made it through the night. As you can tell, it stopped raining. It poured. It poured. There was times where I thought our tent was gonna float away <laughs> in a little river of rain. But it stayed dry in here. It stayed warm in here. Yeah. I slept pretty well. There was some lightning. We're warm and dry, but uh, everything is completely soaked. Yeah. I, uh, maybe this was a mistake. No, this is I, great. We this didn't is get like, eaten by jaguars? Yeah, no, no. On all the normal circumstances, this is a great, fun, awesome adventure. We'll just go back to our house and dry off yeah. all of our gear. Oh, wait, we don't have a house. <laughs> we have a van. And you don't want to, like, put all of this stuff away wet. And we don't have anywhere to dry it all out. I'm just I'm stressing right now. Nah, we're gonna throw everything in a garbage bag. We're gonna drive to somewhere warm. We're gonna air it all out. We're gonna take a nice nap. Wonderful day ahead. I think we gotta break down camp and head back to the van because it doesn't look like this rain is letting up. What I'm hoping is that it's only raining up here in the actual cloud forest and as we head down the road, it'll be less wet or hasn't been raining all night. Because if it's been raining all night on that road we hiked up, to slide down it. Allie is gonna eat. Allie is gonna fall multiple times. So we need to make sure that doesn't happen. We need to get everything packed into our backpacks, break down this tent, and hit the road. Morning blues. Well, I'm here, I ain't no coward. I was never hiding from you. Couple calls. Not cold which honestly would make this a hundred times worse. Absolutely. So I don't feel as bad as I could. Yeah, it's not could be worse, could be raining. It's could be worse, could be cold. Frank's having a great time. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. We are soaking wet. Everything we are carrying is soaking wet, which makes it all much heavier. And we've just got this road to walk down. Took us about an hour to climb up it. We'll see how long it takes to get down. Hopefully, like I was saying earlier, the rain hasn't been running down this road all night. Hopefully it's only raining up here at the top.
Well, the rain's really started to pick up. Not sure how well you can see me or hear me. Frank is no longer enjoying himself. He's very upset with the rain. Now he's having a great time. No longer dry. Yeah. This is what I call torrential downpour. And that was the scariest thunder strike I have ever heard in my life. They're getting very close to us. We're going to get a move on. I'd be so happy to see the van. A bit of a disaster on our hands. Everything we have is completely soaked. The second we open the door, everything else is going to be soaked. Let's get it underway. regular sock. What's really ironic is, uh, as you can see, it's kind of sprinkling now, but it completely stopped raining about 30 seconds ago. If you guys caught our video from a few days ago talking about why you need a shower in your van, one of the big reasons is that it is a wet room. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this shower is packed completely full of everything that is soaking wet from our hike. We're hanging up our raincoats, our tent, our backpack, all of our wet stuff. You just shove it in the shower. Don't have to worry about it getting the rest of your van all wet. It's perfect. Needless to say, we do need to find a dry location that's hopefully sunny so we can set this tent back up and let it dry out. This is not an ideal situation, but we made do. Now let's get back on the road. Oh yeah. That's right. Bakery time. We are about to enjoy these two delicious mochas from this cafe, a couple of pastries, and then we're gonna hit the road, but... Solid ending to a really good adventure. Yeah, at the end of the road is another adventure that you guys will see on Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this adventure with us today. Hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully you laughed, maybe you cried, who knows, I almost cried. So. Make sure you guys like this video for us, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And we'll talk to you soon, guys. See you guys on the next one. Bye. Swallowed a cannonball in my dream And it's pulling me back underneath my sheets It's freezing out the morning